Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tealerese, for those of you that don't know, and if you do know and you're returning, what's poppin', how are you? Today I'm coming to you guys with a different video than I've done on my channel before. Um, I want to be transparent, I want to be vulnerable, I want to be honest. Um, today is December the 14th. It is 9.24 at night, and I can't help but feel a sense of urgency to create this video. I want you, simply as the screen says, to breathe. In and out. In and out. I want you to breathe. Today, in the social media world, we lost another young man to suicide. Now, if you knew Twitch, even from social media, you knew how much of a light he was, how his smile brightened people's day how impactful and influential he was and the life and legacy in which he left is remarkable. And let this not be another death that we see and hear about. And we repost and share or comment, my condolences, I'm so sorry. And we move past life as if nothing happened. Today, somebody lost a brother, a son, a friend, a father, a husband. But more importantly, he lost his hope. And that is why I wanted to create this video today to speak life into someone who could be struggling, who is reading every tribute and remark people are writing about Twitch and comparing themselves and saying, I won't get this much recognition or love once I fully commit this act or that is struggling with the idea that they don't matter, that they're not needed, that they're not necessary. If I'm being transparent and honest, I've been there. <laughs> you know the saying, like, check on your strong friends. Yeah, that's real. People with the brightest smiles and the biggest hearts typically are the ones that struggle the loudest in silence. The loudest in silence. We're typically the ones that are making sure everybody else is okay. I know for me personally, I feel silly when I'm struggling and I have to ask for help from others because I'm used to being the one that people come to for the help. So for the helper to be needing help, what? Mm -mm. That's not right. The math ain't mathin'. Something's wrong. But no, I've had to learn that in my weakness, he, my father, my heavenly father is made strong. And that it is okay for me to be weak. It is okay for me to be broken unto Christ because I'm human I don't have to be superwoman I don't have to be superman and this is encouragement for you you don't have to be anything other than who you are who God has called you to be so I want to share seven scriptures and pray with you because we need one another more than ever. The first scripture is Psalm 34, 18 through 19. 
The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and serves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The fact that we can go through times of sadness and depression and can feel completely crushed, that's when God is the most nearest to us. Many afflictions of the righteous. It means we're going to go through a lot of different things. But we're the righteous one. We're the ones that belong to the mighty king. We're God's own children. And we're going to go through hard times. But the good news is that the Lord is going to deliver us from out of all of them. Every last one of the issues, of the trials, of the tribulations, of the darkness, everything. He saves those crushed in spirit. And even if we have many afflictions, God will deliver us out each and every time in his timing. The second scripture is Psalm 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Simply put, you are made in his image. You are bought with a price. He wants us to give him everything because he cares for us. And he even knows the things that we're needing to hand over. He just wants to see where we trust him, where we give it to him. Because we can't carry these anxieties in our own strength. We're not built for that, but he is. Next scripture, Isaiah 53, verse 4. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, spitten by God, and afflicted. This is evidence that God has carried our griefs and our sorrows. If you need a proof, this is that. He has already carried many of our problems and our issues. This verse refers to our redemption through Jesus' sacrifice. But part of this also refers to our relationship with him and where he takes us because we cannot go by ourselves. Psalm 34, 17 is the next verse. And it reads, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their trouble. He hears us. He hears you. He's listening for you. He's fighting for you. Do you believe that God really is who he says he is in your life? The next scripture is Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be frightened and don't be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is one of my favorite scriptures. It reminds me that I am His, simply put. No matter what. He commanded me to be strong and to be courageous, so I'm going to be that. To not be frightened, not be dismayed. For the Lord, my God, is with me wherever I go. He's with you wherever you go. Psalm 23, 4 is the last scripture, and it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. There are so many afflictions that the righteous will endure. But just know that the Father is near the crushed and brokenhearted. And that we can cast our cares and our burdens upon him and he will sustain us. We can cast our anxieties on him, our fears, our troubles, our anxieties regarding different things that we can't control, different things that 
seem to cripple us. And each and every time he's going to deliver us out. He's going to be there. Because he's our father. He's our savior. He's our defender. So as I said in the beginning, don't forget to breathe. To stop what you're doing. To cast your cares upon him. To trust in him. To lean not upon your own understanding. And to continue to live. Your life is valuable. You are needed. You are wanted. You are seen. You are chosen. And I want to pray with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for this opportunity. I pray that each and every person that is listening to this under the sound of my voice will be comforted by your joy, your peace, your help, your shelter, that they would know that you hear them when they cry, that they would know that you seek them out daily, that they would know that there is nothing on heaven or on earth that could separate them from you, that they would know that they are loved, chosen, desired, wanted, necessary, valuable, that they would see themselves the way in which you see them, that they would love themselves the way that you love them, that they would choose life and not death, that they would find you in the middle, in the beginning, and in the end of their situation. God, I pray for those that are around them, that they would be kind to them. I pray that they would be honest with them, loving, loyal, protective. Help us to be more selfless instead of selfish. Help us to be honest with ourselves. And if we need help, that we would reach out and we would get the proper help. Counseling is okay. Talking it out is okay. Journaling is okay. Finding a hobby that gets you distracted or helps you to release is okay. But suffering in silence is not okay. Lord, for your promises, tell us that we are able to endure these hard times because you are literally seeking us out daily. So I pray that you would Put your peace. Dispatch your angels round about us. Keep us protected. Keep us safe. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this week's Tea Talk. Suicide does not have to be your portion. You don't have to subscribe to that. You can live, and I pray that you do. I love you all, and I hope you have a beautiful evening, and a beautiful day, a beautiful tomorrow, the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. All the scriptures will be listed in the description box, as well as any additional help that you may need if you are struggling. Don't be afraid to reach out. I love you. Bye. I just wanna wait.